Big weekend for power boating with a first London to Brighton race on Sunday. Meanwhile, one of the best-loved names in the sport is about to make a surprise comeback to racing. She's a lady concerned with one of the oldest races on the calendar. And they're away. The race is on. Most of these streamlined boats have a top speed of 50 miles an hour. But out in more open waters, seamanship could be the deciding factor. The famous Cow's Torquay powerboat race, first won in 1961 by Tommy Sopwith. The organiser of the event and father of the sport in this country was Sir Max Aitken from the Isle of Wight. His wife, Lady Aitken, also competed in the 60s and early 70s, but when Sir Max fell ill over a decade ago, she retired. Now, two years after her husband's death, Lady Aitken is making a comeback. She's bought a Class 2 powerboat from Brighton's Peter Armstrong, chairman of the Offshore Racing Drivers Association. It's a 450 horsepower machine capable of 65 miles an hour. And by coincidence, its number corresponds with Lady Aitken's age. Well, I got bored with being 60 and old age pension. I thought I'd just give it one more whirl, get out on the water again. Is it the right time to be making a comeback in a sport like this? Well, I'm not going to take it tremendously seriously. I'm, I'm going to do a, a few races and see how I get on. I don't think I'm any threat to any, any of the other boats at all. That's why I called her Sleuth. I think we should be following people about most of the time. And yet Sleuth is no slouch. Three years ago, with Peter behind the wheel, the then named Brute finished third and was top British boat in the round Britain race. Oh, she's a lovely boat. She really is. Um, so I'm hoping that we shall do respectably, anyway. I haven't got any great ambitions. How do you feel about being in a boat with such a pedigree as... Uh, as well, it's a lot to live up to. A lot to live up to. I shall <laughs> have to do my best. Lady Aitken's first race will be in early June. Meanwhile, she has a lot of practicing to do. Sometimes it can be rough and very tough. But just like her husband before her, Lady Aitken finds the sport irresistible. I suppose it's like um, when you stop beating your head against a stone wall, it feels rather comfortable. <laughs> it's lovely afterwards. 